fashion. We just went to the dog park. Um, oh, if I say that word, she, dog park. Go to the dog park. <laughs> um, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Frances and I am a reseller on eBay and Poshmark. So I'm sorry if you hear the panting. We just went to the DP, because I can't say the word. Um, and yeah, so today I am going to be showing you all the shoes that I got at my most recent bins haul, or my most recent bins trip. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you all the shoes and hopefully she stops panting at some point because I know it's really loud. But she chased a ball for about an hour, so she's very tired. Anyways, let's get into it. All right, so um, she's still panting, but um, honey, you're so tired. Maybe I have to wait for a little bit to film. I got quite a bit of shoes and clothes. So if you haven't seen my last video, um, I got a bunch of sh uh, clothing as well. I made a mistake with my last video and I uploaded it. I meant to upload it at 11 a.m. on Tuesday the Tuesday after Labor Day and I uploaded it Monday night at 11 p.m. because I like pre like put when it would come out and I actually put p.m. so the views on that are like half of what they normally are um I don't know if that's because I did it late or just it just didn't get as many clicks just based on like whatever um but less people saw it so if you want to see my clothing haul um portion of this haul then please go look at my last video, um, but this will just be shoes. And hopefully I uploaded this in the AM and not late at night when everyone's asleep. <laughs> um, okay, so yeah, let's just get started. I photographed probably half of these items and I listed probably a quarter of them. But by the time this goes out, I'll probably have most of it listed. Um, as I always say, if you're interested in anything to purchase, um, just go ahead and email me down below with like, what item it is and such okay so the first item I have to show are the, this is gonna be really hard to film with her in here cuz I I know she loves shoes okay so these are a pair of Sorel boots um, these are really nice I forget what they're called they're like the Arctic boot or something I could be getting that totally wrong but um, I did draft these so I found like a title and stuff I don't know if they're listed but these ones are a women's size 9 oh I'm sorry they're called the snowbird um, size US 9 and yeah I believe they're women's they seem like women's um, but anyways yeah I love selling Sorel I did find another Sorel thing that I'll show you um, and the snow boots I think will start to sell a lot more like this season coming up um, I know I tried to list some in the summer and like I still have them so hopefully you know we all hope that things sell but I do really hope that those sell soon because you know they're bulky um okay next pair of shoes also if uh, sorry there's so many like so, like things that I'm apologizing for but if it, I look red, it's because I'm filming right outside of my barn and the whole barn is red and like it like reflects on me. So I do apologize for that. But anyways, <laughs> okay, these are a pair of Echo boots. I love selling Echo and I don't know why, but like comfort shoes for me just like kind of fly out of my closet. I sell a lot of them on eBay. Um, so yeah, these are Echo. They're also a larger size. These are a women's 42 euro, um, which is like... Uh, maybe like a 10 or like an 11 maybe 10 or 11 um anyways yeah so they have a couple like small little scuffs but otherwise they're in really good condition and brown leather boots always sell so well for me in the fall so yeah like I said for size 42 on those um okay so the next pair of shoes I sold this brand once before and they already sold um or I found it once and they already sold and these are a pair of men's boots. So they look like this. These are the brand Palladium or Palladium. I don't know. I I know they have a lot of like shoes that look like Converse. Um, and I actually own a pair of Palladium that I got at the men's. So anyways, they're in really good condition. These are a men's boot. Um, I do believe they're called like the slouchy something. But yeah, they are a men's size US 8. 
and they're like a nice brown leather. Oh, like I said, brown leather does really well for me in the fall. I actually moved to the back, so now I can use the passenger seat. Okay, I was actually really excited to find these. Um, unfortunately, I could not find a style name or a stock photo like literally anywhere for these. So I'm just gonna show you. Um, but these are a pair of Birkenstocks. And as you can see, the footbed is like incredibly nice. You know what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna turn my car around and finish the haul because the red is really distracting. Um, but I'll show you these first. So these are like a leather, blue and pink um, strappy lace-up sandal. They're size 40, which is like a women's nine. Oh, it actually says L9, so ladies nine, men's seven. So that's, I like how it says that because sometimes it's hard to like convert. Um, anyways, yeah, these are in excellent condition. Um, I did try these on. I'm usually a 40 in Birkenstocks and these were a little small. So these might be like the narrow ones. I'm not totally sure, but, um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to turn my car around. Okay. So these are like a striped wedge shoe. Um, and the bottom, as you can tell, is like literally has like no wear to it. So on these, the tread is like literally brand new. Um, they kind of look like they were maybe worn once or like tried on. Um, but yeah, right, Ashley, these ones are a size nine and a half women's. <sighs> these are Keens and they're like a purpley blue, pink and green color how adorable like honestly they're so cute and small um these are in pretty good condition i mean i'm only expecting probably like 15 for these but that's fine um they're very lightweight these are a size us five so kids five okay so the next thing that i grabbed are like technically shoes i guess um they're kind of like slippers um i forget what these are called but they are from rei so the brand is rei um, and they are a men's size medium. Oh, I think they're called the cabin slipper or camping slipper. It's either camping or cabin. Um, but anyways, yeah, they're like a puffy slipper with this like button detail right here. At first I thought like they were a boot insert, but they do have their own like grippy on the bottom. And I don't see how this would fit into a boot because the bottom is like very like structured um however like I guess you could if your boot was big enough but anyways thought that those were like those would maybe be a good like 20 to 25 dollars um this might be the best pair of shoes that I found so I found two pairs of these and one of them was completely broken which I was so sad about so I only was able to grab this pair but I'm excited about them so these are a pair of leather, like, what would you call them? Wooden clogs. So they are Swedish and the brand is Has Beans. So Swedish Has Beans, is that how you say that? Um, and they're the Toffel line, I think. So that's what the label looks like. It's weird because like it goes that way, it reads that way and then also <laughs> upside down. Um, they're size 40, which is great. And yeah, they're honestly like in pretty I'm, I always like check the staples make sure they're all like in there because I have had a couple that are like really like coming apart um but these are so great they have a couple like scratches I mean I feel like that's pretty normal but yeah they're really cute and I did see comps for like 90 to 100 on those for that like exact style so I was happy about that um, the next pair are, actually these are the first pair that I found, um, and I think they're pretty cute. So these are Sorel, and uh, these are a pair of sandals, I forgot what they're called. See like I just looked these up a couple days ago and I already forget. Um, but they are like a camo sandal with like there's no laces I don't know if they're supposed to be laces but there's like a spot where you could put laces um, but I suppose you don't really need that these are a size where does it say that these are size US 9 and they are women's and yeah I feel like 
the bottoms, like, again, the bottoms are in, like, brand new condition. I don't know why, like, I found so many pairs of shoes that were in really good condition. Um, except, you know, the next pair I'm going to show you aren't in great condition. However, like, most of the shoes I got were. So, minimal cleaning is always a plus for me. Um, so yeah, okay, I got two pairs of this brand of boots. And they both needed a little bit of cleaning, but I think it's worth it. So these are Danner. I don't know if you know the brand Danner, but they are like a work boot brand. These are lace, these are lace up, um, like work boot. I forget what they're called. Again, sorry. Ugh, so bad at like remembering names of sh the styles of shoes and clothes and stuff. Um, but I do know that these are men's. And so yeah, they have a little bit of wear. Danner is a really good brand of boots. Some do better than others. Like, so these, I think that the comps are like 60 to 70. And then I got another pair of Danner boots that are more of like the $100. And I think, I could be wrong, but I think these are a newer style. And I also think since they were, it says made in USA, maybe it's better. I don't know. But these are also a little bit worn. But as you can see, the bottom's like in really good condition, which is awesome. And these are a Vibram sole. Maybe that's a selling point. Um, but yeah, these were more of like the $100. So I did list these for like $100 or $110, something like that. But I don't know why. Maybe they're newer, a newer style or something. Um, oh, okay. I'm just going to tell you guys the size. So the tall boots are a men's eight. And... The shorter boot are also men's and they are a eight and a half. Could be from the same person. Um, okay, these I got just because I thought the style was unique. So they're like a faux suede. I swear they look better in person. The suede. Um, they're like a faux suede clear plastic pump. And these are Zara. So the Zara Basics, size 38. Um, my only thought is like, I feel like you would sweat a lot, but there are these like little holes right here, almost like breathing holes, which I think is kind of funny. So yeah, I grabbed those and yeah, let's see more shoes. Okay. The next pair I got, I didn't know that this brand made shoes, um, but these are LK Bennett. Uh, these are a size 38 and a half, made in Spain, and they are like a patent leather little, um, what would you call that? Just like a short stack heel. Um, anyways, yeah, and they have like an emblem. Is that their logo? Maybe? Anyways, yeah, so these are cute. I just thought this was like a pretty classic style, and LK Bennett's expensive, so these are, I was excited about these. They do need to be cleaned a bit. The bottom's like pretty worn down, which is the downside of this shoe is that the bottom's in pretty bad condition, but I think somebody won't mind. Like the heel part's fine. Anyways, these are Tory Burch, which I'm always happy to find Tory Burch in the bins. Excuse my nail. Um, I only did one, so I got this, like, nail dip. Or I did two, actually, but this one's really bad. I got this, like, nail dip kit at a garage sale. It's, like, the powder dip stuff, and I tested it last night, but I only did two nails. So, <laughs> anyways, okay, these are, there's the logo thing, and, yeah, it's, like, a pointed toe patent leather. It's pretty cute. These are size, I don't know. Where does it say? It says over here somewhere. But I can't remember. I know I did list these though. So I had to have found the size at some point. Okay, nine. It says it on the bottom. Nine, um, medium. So these are a pair of Nike Air Forces. I was actually excited to find these because they're in really good condition. And Air Forces always sell pretty well for me. But I was kind of sad that when I like came home and I was like photographing them, they are a youth size, which just, I mean, it's probably fine. They're a youth five, um, but it just lowers the 
like comps and also like I don't know how many people are buying youth air forces but anyways I bet that somebody could fit in these because they do seem like I thought these were like a women's six or seven but obviously not um I don't know what a youth five like translates to but anyways I was more excited about it before I found out that they're youth but it's okay um these are just like bread and butter and sorry for the loud bag noise these are just bread and butter and I grabbed them because they're like a buttery leather they're Kohan um and they are the grand OS style I don't know what that is um there's like a nice brown sneaker I feel like they're just I don't know pretty basic but they're size men's nine and a half wide Oh, so, okay. Also, I would recommend watching my clothing haul because I found some pretty cool stuff. And I wanted to report that that, like, huge, massive cape thing that I got um, sold on eBay for $50. So, I did accept an offer. I listed it for, like, $75. I listed it pretty high because I was, like, unsure. And I got an offer for $50, a couple, like, this morning, so a couple of days after. And I was like, okay, I might as well just, like, sell it because I don't want to store this one two I don't know how many people are looking for this and also like quick sale right so my main thing my main reason for accepting that was like I didn't want to have to store it and wait but I bet someone's buying that for Halloween I just have a guess because it's very Halloween-ish so if you guys saw that and were wondering if I was ever gonna sell that then yes I did sell it already it got so hot all of a sudden in my car so I did turn the AC on a little bit so hopefully you can't hear it um okay so this is a new to me brand I think it, the comps are like 30 25 to 30 um but I thought they were really cute so they're like a little leather heel um yeah the brand also they're in pretty good condition too which I was happy about the brand is called Kumpfs so like Kump, like Kumpfs K-U-M-F-S and they are a size, oh, I don't know, 39 and a half. Okay. They are genuine leather, and I think they're really cute. Like a Mary Jane kind of heel thing. So I got those. Um, these are another, like, bread and butter item. The brand is just Joseph Siebel or Seibel. And these are size 42, so another larger size, which I think is actually pretty good. They're, like, a brown mule this was so interesting to me because you know usually when i have there's goodwill tags on them or like a sticker it's like 24.99 these are 4.99 i was shocked because that's like pretty reasonable um and you know i don't know if i would pay five dollars but like i would consider it if i was in the store um also the sticker is only from august 29th so uh i almost feel like they didn't even make it into the store I always peel the stickers off because you don't want people to see. <laughs> I don't know. I personally just like taking the stickers off. Um, okay. I have a couple more items and these are just like kind of random, but do you want some water, Speedy? Okay. These are men's. These are Merrill. I always pick up Merrill shoes at the bins whenever I find them. Um, again, the bottom's in really good condition. That's always a plus. These are a size 10. What are they? What was that called? I don't know. Anyways, they're just like, yeah, a leather sneaker. Just thought those were like a good bread and butter item. All right, last item are these boots. I actually never heard of this brand in my entire life, but I just kind of thought like, whatever, I'll give it a try. Um, made in Mian... I don't know how to pronounce that. Germany. But the brand is Tamaris. Or Tamaris. It needs to be cleaned a little bit. Size 39. And they are a black leather boot. I thought these were cute. They're Chelsea boots with like this purple platform. They need a clean, a good clean. Maybe a little bit of a leather condition. But yeah, this, these are so cute. Like I might even consider keeping them. So yeah, that is everything. So if you enjoyed this haul, please
please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing for more reselling content. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.